welcome to my blog please subscribe and click the like button below and tonight we're gonna read a book and the title of the book is Charles are you ready okay let's go re and read oh I forgot and the author of the book is by Liz Liesel Mo Mo Scorpion. Okay, let's go and read. Charles sat on a toy shop shelf. Day after, after day after day, he sat alone between the painted dolls. I do not belong to anyone, thought Charles. Nobody belongs to me. The shopper was not un unkind. The shopkeeper. The shopkeeper was not unkind. He smiled as he dust Charles dusted dusted Charles off. There now, he said, that feels better, doesn't it? No thought, Charles, that doesn't feel... No thought, Charles. No thought, Charles, that doesn't feel better. I wish I were a wild bear, thought Charles. But the shopkeeper went whistling on his way. One morning, the door of the toy shop opened and a cold, wet wind blew over the shelf. And a man in an overcoat pointed at Charles. The shopkeeper wrapped him in the tissue paper and laid him in a cardboard box. They think I'm dead, thought Charles. They're going to bury me. Bury me. Help, cried Charles. Let me out. Nobody heard this. Heard. His, heard his cries. Happy birthday, a voice said. The top was taking off the box, and a little girl was looking down at Charles. What is this supposed to be? She said. Later, somebody picked Charles up from under the ribbons and the bright torn wrapping and set him on a window sill. Day after day after day, he sat. Sunny days. Day after day. Day after day after day, he sat. Sunny days, rainy days, all by himself on a win window sill. When the little girl took him down to play, she left him lying on the floor or under something dark. Teddy doesn't mind, she said. Teddy likes the dark. She didn't know how Charles felt or else she didn't care. She didn't care. When Charles felt like quiet times, she blew her horn and beat her drum or brushed him with a bristle brush, singing loud songs. Bristly brush. Bristly brush. Singing loud songs that he didn't like. When Charles felt like doing things, 
he said. He was sick and put him to bed. She spoke a thermometer and his eyes and his eye and dribbled sugar water down his chin. Teddy's feeling better now, she said. I'm feeling worse, thought Charles. How Charles dreaded the dreaded dreaded the boogie rides. She dressed him in a pink lace dress and tied a bonnet under his chin. There now, she said. Don't we look nice? She put him in a boogie with some dolls and she pushed them up and down the public street for everyone to see. But worst of all was the tea party. Charles sat in a chair beside a doll. Once off his leg, one of his legs, one of his legs was twisted and twisted, twisted and bent. There wasn't anything good to eat; just cold cereal in cups and water that the little girl called tea. She spilled her tea instead of saying, Pardon me, she says, sized poor Charles by his arm, hit him hard and threw him on the floor. See what you made me do, she said. You nasty, naughty bear. Charles lay on his face in the puddle of tea. I, I do not belong to anyone, thought Charles. Nobody belongs to me. In the morning, she dragged him out you're looking pretty bad, she said. One of these days, I'll throw you in the trash. She dressed him in that awful dress and bonnet and put him in the boogie with the dolls. If I were a wild bear, Charles thought. I'd bite her smartly on her smartly smartly on her leg. Little leg. Little leg. Boy was pulling a wagon down the street. He stopped beside the boogie and looked in. That's a good bear you've got, he said. That is not a good bear, said the little girl. That is very naughty little bear. I'll trade you from him. For him, said the boy. The boy had kittens in a cardboard box. box. He showed one to the girl all, all right, she said, I'll trade. The boy put Charles into the box. The kittens were soft and warm. One of them licked Char Charles into the box. The kittens were soft and warm. One of them licked Charles on the nose. You are a good bear, Charles said the boy. I have always wanted a bear like you.
some people have a wonderful way of knowing just how other people feel. The little boy was like that. When Charles felt like doing things, the little boy knew that when Charles felt like doing things, the little boy knew what to do. They took fast rides on bicycles and sleds. They climbed on they climbed to high places where girls are afraid to go. They saw things no one else had seen before. Often, they went walking in the woods. Charles, Charles rode on the pen, picnic basket along the leafy trails. They sat in the shade of a skimor tree eating sandwiches and cakes. If any... That's a sycamore tree. Oh, sycamore tree. Eating sandwiches and cake. If anyone saw me sitting here, thought Charles, they didn't think for sure I was a wild bear. When Charles wasn't feeling well, the little boy knew how to help. He wrapped Charles up in something soft and tucked him into bed. He would pick in from time to time to see how Charles was. I hope you're feeling better, said the boy. When Charles felt like quiet times, they sat in the window seat and watched the rain. They looked at the picture books beside the fire. Charles liked to look at wild bears, polar bears, who prowl in the frozen north grizzly bears and cinnamons, 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 black bears and browns. They are all very grand, and said the little boy, but none so grand as you. His mother knitted sweaters for them both. The sweaters were blue with buttons at the neck. They thank you very much, said the boy. Charles, thank you too. Thanks, you too. The boy cried. The boy, car the boy carried Charles upstairs to his room. If you don't like the sweater, said the boy. You never need to wear it, but Charles liked the sweater very well. Whenever there was a nip in the air, he wore, wore it. When the boy had a birthday, Charles was invited. Charles wore his sweater and a little pointed hat and he sat in a in the birthday birthday chair beside the boy when charles had a birthday there was a proper cake it is it said happy birthday charles with two candles on the top one of them's for growing, said the boy, and he helped Charles blow the candles out. Charles forgot the bad times he had he had had. He never thought about the little girl and then one day, the boy made something out of a piece of sheet. This is a parachute, 
parachute. Parachute, said the little boy. You are about to become a flying bear. The boy tossed Charles out the attic window and Charles floated like a feather through the sky. Just as he landed lightly on someone's on sun leaves, on sun leaves the little girl was coming down the street. The kitten was in the boogie. Oh, poor little Teddy, cried the girl. What is that bully doing to you? She picked Charles up by his ear and looked him over. Oh dear, but you're so ugly, said the girl. You are all ragged now and soiled too. She let Charles go and he landed on his head. The boy picked Charles the boy picked Charles up and bra brushed him off. You know, you know, he said, you're really a beautiful bear. I'm so glad I have a bear like you. Charles lay in bed beside the boy. His head was so filled with happy thoughts that he couldn't fall asleep. Instead of sleeping, Charles sang his this little song. He made it up himself. Good times, bad times, Charles sang. Glad times, said, sad times, let them be. I belong to somebody, Charles sang, and anybody belongs, somebody. and somebody belongs to me. The end. And thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and click the like button below. See you next time. Bye.